everyone today we're going to make a versus this little bonsai tree is years old so i designed a tray for a, a bonsai that is here printed on a resin printer and i found this little tree here on cults uh, 3d you find the link in the info box below and i printed that in a very very tiny way um, I am going to cut a tiny bit of the bottom here of the tree to make it fit my little tray. And I will also leave a link in the info box below for the tray itself. Um, that's my design. Then I am going to place these trays on this little icicle where I have some double sided tape on. This way I can control it a bit better when I'm painting. And I'm going for red with these trays, but you can paint them in any color you like. Just paint everything and remember to turn them around and paint the bottom part as well. When they are all painted, I am placing my small trees here on the same double-sided tape. And I'm starting with a darker brown, painting everything with this dark brown color. Then I am using some lighter brown and I'm using a, a dry brush technique for that. So I'm just brushing very lightly with this brown, uh, lighter brown color. And I'm actually going to switch to a even lighter uh, brown color and do the same with that. I am going to use my super glue gel here to glue on the little tree into the uh, tray that we made. Just glue them in there and let them dry for a few seconds before you continue. Now I am going to take some uh, coffee grounds. This is from when my husband made coffee and the rest of the coffee grounds. I am taking that, spreading it out on a piece of a paper, stuffing it into the oven and baking it with, with a very low temperature for a very long time. This way I can dry it out and I can use it for the dirt here around the little trees. So I'm just placing a lot of wood glue in the little tray and then I'm just gonna dip it in this coffee ground. Ground, ground, is that the right, uh, is that the right word? I'm not sure it is, but um, I think you get the picture. When that is all dry, I am ready for the small leaves on top of the trees. So I'm going to take my wood glue, my trusty wood glue, and put a bit of that on my piece of paper here. Then I have this greenery from a um, train miniature train store. This is actually really, really great for small uh, bushes and stuff like that in one to 12. And I'm just making sure I have glue all over this so that I know it will glue very nice together. And I'm just popping it on my tree. And I also have some of this uh, foamy thingy in different colors here. I have a mix with a lot of different colors. I have a light yellow and a dark yellow. Um, and you can do these trees exactly like you want to. So I'm just going to use a little of that for a sprinkle of color in this one. I actually make one of the trees with the... Uh, more colored floof or what you call this and that actually looks really really great as well 
let this dry really good before you handle it again this way it will be a little more sturdy anyway that was all for today i hope you liked this video thank you for watching please give my video a like uh, that means a lot to me and uh, i hope you will have a great day so happy crafting <laughs>